Okay, so today's travel photography challenge, instead of just taking ordinary snapshots, we are going to take great travel photos right here from Seal Beach, California. Stay tuned. So you want to get the iconic shot when you go visit someplace? Postcards will tell the story. How did other people do it? Here we are at the California Cottage. They got some nice postcards in here. Let's go check them out. So a snapshot would mean you get out of the car, you take a picture of the pier from the, up there, and you leave. No, 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 no. We are going to shoot every possible angle of this pier until we find the one that's just right. So here we are on the other side of the pier, and now that we're here, we have this awful fence, which show, proves that we're not going to take any pictures on this side unless we go in the back. And I think we should go right on the top of the pier and look downward and get that shot as well. But we had to try, right? So I, I take it back. This side is not as awful as I thought. The fence finally ends. And if you look down that way, you'll get a decent shot. But the light is so against us, this would be a sunset shot. So you never know what you'll find at the end of the pier, even though it's far down, you gotta walk to the end, cause who knows? We could either get a great shot going that way or that way. Let's give it a try. Remember I said, get every shot, every possible angle. We're walking over the pier, we're going, trying to get to the end. This is really nice shot of the water in a way that we're not gonna get from down there. So we noticed this really cool bird over here with purple and green, and I wanted to get a photo. I happen to have the 5X on the new iPhone 15 Pro Max, which is cool, but I go in very slowly, a few steps at a time. I want to make sure he doesn't fly away. And that's how you got to do it. And then I ended up with this incredible photo of the bird with Long Beach in the background. And then if you want to be really awful, get really close, and he'll fly away from me, except he's not going to. Whoa, bye-bye. All right, so we got to the end of the pier, and photographically, it's a blah. It was a fun walk, but it's a blah. I prefer the shot right in front, or definitely the iconic shot is down there. Caveat, you want a good shot of the waves? Come up here and look down. We are in Seal Beach. I don't know that we're actually gonna see any real seals. You do have this icon right here. You can't come to Seal Beach and not take this picture. We're here at the absolute worst time, but you, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna take a photo of the seal and we're gonna take it from every angle here, all sides. One of these sides might be okay, as we will find out later. Travel photography versus snapshot photography. Well, let's talk about post-processing. A little editing can make your picture go a long way, and I'd like to prove it to you right now. For the edit, I opened up the Apple Photos app. I clicked the little lightning magic wand. There's a little brightening to it. Then I go to black point to boost the colors and end up with vignette. It adds a nice little border around the photo, and then I do a little crop, and there you go. Pretty striking, huh? This is the other iconic shot of Seal Beach, the old Pacific red car, which once upon a time went all the way downtown. And we want to get a good shot of it, but we got some challenges. The lighting, the shadows, we can barely see. There's, there's distractions everywhere. So let's go get a good postcard, great shot of the red car. So right now we are going to this side to see if we can make it work. And I am going to find there's a tree in the way, so that doesn't work. Now I'm going to go to uh, ultra wide angle and try it over here so we got rid of the tree. But now we have tree reflections in the car. I, I can't use any of these shots. Now possible I could just come here and get a close up of Pacific Electric and that's okay. It tells a story. Now I'll step back a little bit straight ahead. Not too bad. And uh, you know I always say get every angle right? It's actually kind of interesting from down here because all the tree reflections went away. I know how to make this shot a lot more interesting. 
the railroad crossing. Get that in your shot as part of the foreground and the red car becomes a lot more interesting and it really tells a story. And so now we turn to editing where this photo really came to live again, the difference between a snapshot and what I think is a really great travel photo. A little boosting of the colors and a little vignette at the end and then of course a little crop to just make it a lot more striking. What do you think? So you want to get a great shot of a beautiful California tree-lined street like we have right here in Seal Beach. And too many times people will do it and they will go like this and they will lose part of the trees. And I recommend going up high, going up as high as you have as you possibly can to get all the tree shot in there. It makes a big difference between as opposed to trees that are cut off. All right, those are a few tips on how to take great travel photographs. For more information, check out the blog section of our website, photowalkstv.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Photowalks TV right here on YouTube. Stay tuned for more episodes, because I'm going to see you on the next Photowalk, everyone. Bye-bye.